Having the best weapons in Avatar Frontiers of Pandora changes the game and makes things way more manageable. So I will tell you where to find the best guns and bows that you don't have to craft. Like these are just rewards that you can get immediately. Let's start with the best heavy bow that looks fantastic as well. It's called the Dauntless Heavy Bow and has the focus draw so you can longer hold a fully charged bow. And with quick draw the overall charge time is reduced by 20% so you can way more quickly take out the high rank M suits from a long distance. The bow also has a 20% weak spot damage increase. I'm not sure if that is like really necessary because you can of course instantly take out the M suits when hitting their weak spot on the back. I can now take out turrets with two shots. First one to expose the weakness and then the second one to finish them off. And especially in the later RDA bases you will encounter many of these turrets. But this bow is also amazing for picking off scorpion ships from the sky while mounted. So really amazing. It also has fire arrows so that can deal an insane amount of damage over over time especially handy against the amp suits so you get it from the highest level base in the game that you find over here on the map between the king lord forest and the upper plains when you get close you will get a mission that has you actually infiltrate the base so it's a completely different sort of activity compared to the other outposts it kind of feels like a main mission with pretty cool locations some unique gameplay elements but yeah if you're not close to level 20 it will be really challenging i was level 17 when i completed it but it took me quite some time so it's smarter to be maybe at least level 18 and overall to come prepared i will tell you how you can easily get prepared in a moment with of course the other best weapons helping with that as well and also cool is that when you complete the base you also get the dire headband with some pretty good perks and a special look for your ekron that's the one they actually use on the box art of the game. So really enough reasons to do this base. But smart to get some other weapons from this video first. Like the best shotgun. So you already get an exquisite shotgun by playing through the main story. Called the Jack Hammer Shotgun. It's pretty good, you can find other variants of this one as well. But really the best shotgun in the game is called the Gravedigger Shotgun. With 280 damage instead of 240, you get more basic ammo from ammo lockers and from defeating M suits. So basically if you use them to take out M suits, you will never really run out of ammo. And if you focus on a weak spot, you also get 20% more damage on the next attack. I think shotguns are amazing in this game. You can one hit kill an M suit by focusing on the soldier. I think they're great when used in flying combat as well. And they have of course the storm ammo so you can do the stun and then eject skill combo that I talked about in my early things video. If you're not aware I will leave a link to that in the video description. And you get this amazing shotgun from completing the level 19 RDA stone processor alpha base that you find over here on the map in the upper plains. So complete it and then you will get it at the end. The best assault rival in the game is the M69 AR Amok with 18 damage and some amazing perks to increase the damage even further like getting plus plus 20% damage for 10 seconds after killing an enemy and also when sliding you deal 15% more damage so that's the tactic slide first and then shoot and now the game kind of feels like a call of duty also here you get this old rival ammo back from the amp suits you take out so you can very easily continue using this gun throughout the whole camp if you want this is a reward from the other level 19 RDA base it's called the horizontal minor bravo that you find in the clouded forest over here on the map but again they can be challenging if you are not prepared so i want to share some tips and also go over some other best weapons of course if you like the video so far leaving a like would be awesome and subscribe for more avatar content a great way to prepare is to cook and then eat before going into a camp and in particular it's smart to go to the hollows the kamatire clan home of course and then speak to oku you can find them like close to the cooking station if you are far enough into the main story here you can only buy ingredients that give you almost 50 percent more damage against the rda for just a small bit of clan favor. Having this buff active is really a game changer in the later main story missions but also for these bases as you will then way more quickly take out the otherwise pretty powerful M suits. Like getting the best weapons in the game is of course important but this lets you do 50% more damage with them which is kind of crazy so buy the ingredient combine it with a different one and then you should get the dish with the extra RDA damage that will make getting these super powerful weapons way easier. You can also go to the cook in the circle for dishes there so that's the Seswa clan camp of course but don't buy too much of it as you will actually need the clan favor for a powerful weapon as well and by the way also close to the circle I go and get health berries 
so you always go in with a full pouch and of course your gear score is important as well so you can always do lower level outposts first as there you can also find some pretty nice weapons including exquisite versions of some of the rda weapons and of course if you remain stealth and do an outpost that way you also get more items that will boost your gear score you also get rda dusty rosters from every outpost and this can be used to buy other high quality weapons but i gotta say that these are just not the best in the game in my opinion like the perks on the heavy bow you can get at solak in your resistance hideout are far worse than what we find on the dauntless bow and the flame arrows are just way better than the storm arrows because the storm arrows only stun an enemy he also sells an exquisite short bow but there is a better one in the game so it's overall smart to spend your rda dusty rosters on mods to make your better weapons even better instead of buying the actual weapons he sells same by the way for the spare parts like don't get the weapons here but go after the mods to improve those RDA weapons. Like I now got Solex Nimble Grip instead for my short bow to deal 20% more damage on the next attack after sliding and I'm using it in combination with the Hey Equinox Relentless Short Bow. It also has fire arrows instead of the storm arrows that in the case of this short bow can very easily insta kill M suits like it's better than the flaming arrows from the heavy bow in my experience. But it also has a way better perk than what we find on Solex weapon so with this you namely get plus 15% damage on additional hits against the same target and that stacks up four times. So you can get up to 60% extra damage when firing this bow on the same enemy. And a short bow is of course really fast. You can hold three arrows like in one go so fire them very quickly and then reload for the fourth one basically meaning that you get the 60% damage increase really fast. So this can already be great against M suits, but this weapon is in particular amazing against wildlife. Like I was insanely impressed when I used it against a storm glider, not a young one, like a big one, and I could very easily take them out. And I'm playing on the normal difficulty, by the way, without any food buffs for like wildlife damage. And also the non veral Trenator that you have to kill for a trophy was super easy with this bow. I did not even use a health berry once. If you are, by the way, curious where you can find this huge Trenator, also make sure that you are high enough level for this one. You want to go over here on the map in the Kinglore Forest. Again, it's needed for a trophy or achievement. And to get the amazing short bow, you want to get it from the clan shop in the hollows the Kamatiri clan and yeah totally worth spending your favor on that so these four weapons are in my loadout now but I wanted to mention Solex Merciless Longbow as well because you simply get this from completing the main story so also for this no need to spend like any resources on a powerful longbow because you just get one for free as a reward now subscribe for way more avatar content if you haven't already a like on the video would of course be awesome and you can also let me know if you found any more powerful weapons that I did not mention here. Totally check out my other avatar video by clicking on the screen and I will speak to you very soon. Goodbye.